what's going on guys in this video i'm going to show you how to set up the psp emulator pppsspp on ios and for this guide i will be using a 10th generation ipad okay let's go ahead and head on over to the app store and search for pppsspp this is what the emulator will look like also in the app store you want to download this app called unzip this is what we will use to extract our ROMs. So on my home screen, I have PPSSPP, Unzip, and my Files app. Let's go ahead and open the Files app. And to the left under Locations, I'm gonna tap on my iPad. And I have created a folder in here and renamed it PSP Games. Inside of that folder, I have 10 PSP ROMs. Now I am sorry, I cannot tell you where to get PSP ROMs, but they are not hard to find. Just do a Google search and I'm pretty sure you will find what you're looking for, or you can check out my Patreon page, link in the description below, and I will have a video there that can help you out. Now, nine out of 10 of my games have been extracted. Those are the blue folders. And inside of those folders, you will find an ISO file. This is the file type that is playable in PPSSPP. To get this file type, you must extract your ROMs. And that's what we're gonna use unzip for. So I have one ROM right here that I haven't extracted, that is Crash of the Titans, that is still a seven zip file and needs to be extracted. So let's go back to the home page and I'm gonna show you how to extract it. Let's open the unzip app. And in the bottom right corner, you will see a plus icon. Go ahead and tap this and then select files. Go ahead and locate wherever you have your PSP ROMs. In my case, on my iPad in the PSP games folder. And I'm going to select Crash of the Titans and then come up here to open. Now to extract this file, all you want to do is tap on it and then hit extract. Once it is done, we will have our extracted file. We no longer need this zip file, so let's go ahead and hold on it and delete. Okay, back to the home screen, back over to that files app. Now to locate that file we just extracted, we're gonna go back to on my iPad and we're gonna go to the unzip folder and then select my folder and there's our extracted game. Go ahead and hold on it and we're gonna go down to move and I'm gonna move this file into the folder with the rest of my extracted games. Now if I go back to on my iPad PSP games and I now have my Crash of the Titans extracted ROM. We no longer need the zip file so let's go ahead and hold on that and delete. Now let's go back. Now there's another important folder that needs to be here on my iPad but we are only going to get that folder once we open PPSSPP for the first time and that folder will be the PPSSPP folder. So let's go back to our home screen and let's go ahead and open PPSSPP for the first time. And we're just gonna get right back out of it. And let's go over to files again. And this time, as you see, we have a new folder here called PPSSPP. Let's open that folder, open this folder, and the folder we are looking for is called game right here. And inside of this folder is where we want to place our PSP ROMs. So I'm going to go back to on my iPad. I'm going to select my folder that contains my PSP ROMs. I'm going to come up here and tap select. And I'm going to check each one of my ROMs. And then come down here to move. Go back to on my iPad. Select that PPSSPP folder. PSP, game, then up here in the right corner, tap move. Now just to check to make sure all of the games went onto that folder. And there they are. Now let's go back to the home screen. Now let's go back over to PPSSPP. And we're gonna click right here where it says PSP. 
and go over to game. And here are all my games. And the reason these games do not have cover art is because when we extracted the ROMs, they extracted into folders that contain the ISOs. Now, if we click on a game, you will see some cover art for that game. And if you click on the game, it will play. I'll select the game just to show you. So if I was to take the ISO file out of each folder, then you would see the cover art here, but I'm fine with it being like this. Okay, let's go over to settings. Now, as of right now, this emulator does not have Vulkan support. It only has the OpenGL back end, and I haven't had any issues with it. Now, as for render and resolution, you can go all the way up to 10 times with this emulator, but my iPad only has an A14 Bionic processor, which I want to stay around two times to three times to be able to get decent performance. But if you have an iPad with an M1 or M2 chip, you will be able to do four times at 1080p or even five times, no problem. Everything else here, we're going to leave at default settings. Now at the bottom under overlay information, you're gonna wanna turn on your FPS counter and show speed to see how your games are performing. Like I said, I have an A14 Bionic processor, so I have to monitor how my games are performing. Now let's go over here and let's go down to controls. Now, if you are gonna be using on-screen touch controls, then you have a lot of options here that you can play around with to customize the size of your buttons, your button style, but I am not gonna be using on-screen touch controls. I'm gonna be using a controller. So I'm gonna turn off on-screen touch controls. So I'm gonna uncheck this. And just to show you that I have a controller connected to my iPad, here in my settings, as you see, my device is a DualSense wireless controller, so a PS5 controller. Now back over on the emulator, I'm gonna go to Control Mapping and Standard PSP Controls. Now, you do not have to map your controller out, an Xbox Series, Xbox One, or as I am using, a PS5 controller will automatically map itself out in PPSSPP. Now, if you would like to change any buttons around, then you can come here and you can select the button you wanna change. You would just tap the button you wanna change, and then you hit whatever button on your controller you want to become that button. And now we can go ahead and load up a game and I'll do God of War, Ghost of Sparta. Just tap the game and it will start up. And as you see, this time I don't have any on-screen touch controls and I am using my PS5 controller. Now if I hit the menu button on my PlayStation 5 controller, it's gonna bring up my save states and I can also access settings from here. If you are using on-screen touch controls, then you can access this by swiping down from the top of your screen. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.